everyone, welcome back to the channel and I have my new guest for today's video. What's your name again? That would be Donna. Donna. So where are you originally from, Donna? I'm originally from Bakong. Bakong? I live in Bakong. Oh. Where in Bakong do you live? Uh, St. Peter. Uh, I lived in Buntis, Bakong. Uh, okay. Yeah, near the beach or beachfront. <laughs> So yes, but I am originally lived in Bahong Pantan. Now that I am married, so we moved in Bakong. So Bakong. Yeah, we actually live by the sea as well, like ah. near the sea. Oh, okay. Do you love to swim? I mean, do you like to swim? <laughs> not at all. Me, not me too. Yeah, especially it's so annoying. I'm not a good swimmer. I don't want to get. <laughs> so anyway, um, where are your parents right now? Uh, they're just at home, like mm. probably resting. Okay. What are they do for a living? Yeah, they're a fish vendor, like in the morning, oh. and then uh, my mom, for like in Thursday and Friday, they are a, a barangay health worker. Uh, what they do, I mean, what she do in uh, as a barangay health worker? Yeah, she... Like uh, a nurse? No, a nurse assistant. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, they give vitamins, free vitamins to kids as well as they provide like the war means something like that for mm -hmm. free for kids. Oh, it's mostly. free. Yeah. Oh, because it's government, right? So yeah. It's free. So they do. Do they do that every month or every year? Yeah, every month they have. But usually they have a tasks that they would do, like house to house, that they could uh -huh. be able to provide mm -hmm. uh, a, a tasks like. Okay, uh, they're set to. Uh, in Vanilla, they have like every parok. They have that. One to six, something like that. Mm -hmm. and my mom is for Parok six. So uh, most kids in that specific area, she must provide a free vitamins as well as they weight them if they are obese or if they mm -hmm. are underweight, something like that. Only for children, right? Yeah, something for children. But if for like adults, they give free for like a, a vit a medicine as well. I noticed once, I think that's for tuberculosis, mm, TV. Okay. okay. So is yeah. it okay to ask how much does your mom earn? Is it per month or per week? Yeah, uh, if we'll be basing for the barangay health worker, uh, her job, that would be something like 800 a month because okay. for that's for like smaller like area in the government. In mm. Barangay. Okay. So, what about your father? What does he do for a living? Yeah, the same thing. She, uh, I mean, he helped my mother selling fish, but sometimes she do fishing. But uh, she already retired okay. as a Barangay Tanod or a Barangay Police. Wow, my called. father. My father is also a Barangay Police oh. or Barangay Tanod Police. Something yeah, like it's that. Barangay Police. If. I'll be wasting for so not much salary for doing yeah that not much that's why my father ended his contract with the barangay so that mm. he could be able to have an assistance with my mother as well and being a uh, barangay tanner it's not easy because you need to look after to your barangay you know whatever yeah. the, like example like there is a fight that happened late at night yeah uh, he as well experienced that one and especially that yeah the fact that uh, he will help my mother sell fish, mm -hmm. and then he would wake up early, and then uh, there's a tasks in the barangay that he need to fulfill. So that would be very, you know, hard to do with balance. Like he so, you said that your parents well. is selling fish, you know, somewhere in Bakong there. In the yeah, in and Bacong? actually in like a elementary in the Bakong. Oh, okay. So, uh, what time usually your father will go for fishing? Oh, that's so early, sometimes in 2 in the morning, 3, something like that. Mm -hmm. Then how much is it usually, I mean, he earn for doing that? That depends, especially in the weather, if okay. it would be a heavy rain or a thunder, something like that, storms, mm -hmm. then you could just be able to uh, cut at least one kilo of uh, fish. That still depends on what type of fish is that. Mm -hmm. So it, it still varies, not unlike those like have the uh, wages like fix mm -hmm. my my father is not fix it is like yeah again depends on what he would be able to catch in the sea 
Okay. So, do you have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have uh, actually five. I have one brother and four sisters. So, are you the oldest or yeah, youngest? Yeah, I am. Mm. So, how old are you? I'm 20. 20? So, you're now nice studying in college? Yeah, I am. Okay, so what course did you take? That would be Bachelor in Science, a Bachelor in Secondary Education. Oh, a major wow! In English. Education! You love teaching! Probably, like what I would subject? say. What subject? English major. Okay, English. wow. Yeah. Well, I can tell because your English is excellent. <laughs> it yeah. is, it is really. Well, uh, um, from all of the courses that you can choose, why you pick that, cho I mean, that, that course? Yeah, because my aunt is a teacher as well and I uh, look up to her and I really wanted to be a m midwife because, yeah, my mom works in the barangay mm -hmm. and then uh, the fact that she is the assistance of that midwife so I want to be a midwife as well but in my uh, in Costco they do not offer that one so oh. I just use my second preferred course instead okay so what about your siblings studying yeah studying the second one because we're five the second one is uh, already in Cebu in University of Cebu Ooh. studying uh, criminology oh. and then the the third one which is a boy uh, it's already uh, he's already grade 10 third one is grade 9 and then the the last is grade 6 so we're getting that a lot <laughs> are you close to your siblings not quite because as typical filipino we're not that close to our uh, fa uh, our siblings but uh, our love language is probably fighting <laughs> Oh. Yeah, but just like a little fight and then later on we could be able to get together. Yeah, it's normal to the family to yeah, have a Yeah, it's very fight. normal. Yeah. <laughs> but when you grow up, everything will change, you know, you will yeah. understand, you know, it's just part of a life. <laughs> part yeah. of a life. I became a second parent to them, so oh. yeah. You're the oldest, right? Yeah, I am. Oh, okay, so you're mature of the uh, siblings. I have to be mature, the fact that my parents is busy, so yeah. I have to, I think that uh, for me, age is not uh, what makes you mature. I think it's the experience. Oh, the experience, so, yeah. you're right. So uh, after you finish, I mean, how many years do you need to um, take that course? I mean, to study, I mean. I think I need more two years to finish college, but yeah, that still depends. We don't know what the future brings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, two years from now, hopefully, Two years from now. So what will you do next after you graduate? I think because uh, I cannot be able to uh, uh, like teach right away because I need to take board exam first. Mm -hmm. So while studying, I think I need to find job first while, mm -hmm. while you know studying for a board exam, which I think it's more appropriate or more uh, what do we call this one? <laughs> exact way to do it, like to be able to get money while preparing mm -hmm. for a board exam as well. So, okay, like yeah. what kind of job in the future that you want to get? I think uh, that depends on what uh, the. I think that depends on what the market would offer. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot, especially in my field, uh, like um, teaching younger than me, tutoring, and then there's call center. But my dream job is to be a janitor. So. Oh really? Yeah, I want to clean. I want to clean like in the in Jollibee. I want to do cleaning. I really love cleaning. But yeah, if money is not the ma it's mm. not matter. I would really do that as my job because I really wanted to clean. But yeah, since I don't have enough funds, then I would prefer choosing a higher salary or wages. What is the best thing that happened to your life? There's no such thing as best thing yet, but I think there is. But for me, the best thing that happened is living. Yeah. Um, what is your dream? I think go abroad, travel, but see some new things. Yeah, discover new things. But as a kid, or I'm still, a, I'm already an adult now. But I know there's a lot of things that I need to carry, especially my siblings, mm -hmm. because as a, as a Filipino culture, we really need to uh, 
play back with our Family, parents, yeah. yeah, with our uh, siblings. We need to, yeah, we'll be the one to do what our parents cannot be able to uh, provide or fulfill. Where do you see yourself in, in five years or in ten years? Oh, in ten years, I think I'm already, uh, in five years, I think I've already traveled at least half of my bucket list and mm. I already have a savings that could be able to uh, use for my siblings for their studies. And in 10 years, I think I'm already married, but I'm already in abroad. I don't see myself living here, but I think for like visiting only, but I see myself living abroad, especially in Switzerland. Wow, I like Switzerland, yeah. I like Netherlands. <laughs> so you say that you like to travel. What country that you want to check or to see? Yeah, if like exact, if like, let's say two years from now, I would say in Japan. Like, oh. I would really save for Japan. Japan is very yeah. safe. One of the safest country or yeah, to place save money. to visit. Yeah. yeah, or probably Thailand because they don't have visa. Visa, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they don't have visa. And it's not strict. But yeah. their law there, they said that it kept on changing. But, you know, it's, yeah. it's but not I that think, far. Yeah, but I think the Philippines is very adaptable with laws. Yeah. And I think... Yeah, we don't have any problem with that one at all. <laughs> Are you single? I am. Oh. Probably no boyfriend since birth. Oh. I just do date. I want to enjoy my life. <laughs> no, that's good. And then yeah. you, you have to focus your study. Yeah. So before you get into a relationship. Serious relationship. Yes, yeah. maybe someday. So did you predict or um, like what age, not predict, but um, have any idea what age are you ready to be in a relationship? I don't know. It's you just like, tell. yeah, I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I just really do go with the flow. It's just like, that's my new version now. <laughs> yeah, I understand. So, and yeah, now I am married. Married. I'm 28 years old. I'm married to oh, an American. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, but <laughs> well, anyway, do you have any question for me? I don't have at <laughs> all. But yeah, do you have kids? No, or not yet. Do you have plans? Huh? Do you have plans? Plans? Um, plan to have a kid? Yeah. I would. Um. Yeah. While I'm still like 20s, I'm 28 now. Oh yeah. While I didn't get to like 30, still yeah. you know. Enjoy the marriage I, life. Yeah, enjoy the marriage life. Yeah. Because. Once you have a kid, you can you cannot travel like you know you need to carry your child with you. Yeah. You cannot enjoy you <laughs> forever, know? tita. Yeah. yeah. So I guess let's say thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you so much as well. Us. It was my pleasure. Yeah. So nice guys. to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching thank this video. Till next time.